This week we have come to one of the slowest park runs in the UK and this park run is ranked 706 out of 760 park runs. Beaver Castle Park Run is a fairly new park run, only being established in January 2022. This is a 67th event, it's my 129th. The finish time here compared to the average is 3 minutes and 42 seconds slower. The male record here is 17 minutes and 10 seconds, which was set in April 2023. The female record here is 19 minutes and 49 seconds that was set in April 2022. This is one of the quieter park runs that we would have been to with 108 average finishes each week. The standard scratch score here is 4.1. I'm thinking my estimated time here today will probably be between kind of 22 and 23 minutes, but we will see how it goes. On to the course. Well, they have two courses here. They have a winter course and a summer course. They have just launched the summer course at the beginning of May. The course is an undulating out and back course with about 115 meters of elevation across the course. Trail trainers have been recommended, so I've put them on today. The course starts at the Castle Overflow car park. It goes up a bridleway up to the Reeded Cottage. You take a left on Jubilee Way to the Twisted Trunked Tree. You turn around and then you head back to the start along the same route. We are not going for PBs today, so we will see how the morning goes. So, good morning and welcome to Beaver Castle Park Cross. So this is event number 67. We do have a first timer, so a big clap for him as we away to our park run. And we are good to go. Kilometre one here was all downhill, an elevation loss of about 20 metres. A lot of the time was spent focused on the terrain underfoot, which as you can see was quite undulating. I was quite happy at this point of the race. My body felt good, my pace felt good. I was happy to come in at 418. Into the second kilometre, it started off quite level until we got around this corner and then the elevation took quite a spike. Running uphill here, you can see me pass a couple of runners. The pace here did take a knock, coming in at about 5.14 into the second kilometer. Continual run uphill, story of two halves this K. The first half uphill to the top. Heart rate at this point was pretty much maxing out. The legs were burning. I was quite pleased to get to the turnaround point. And then running down the hill started to relax a little bit more into the run again because of the up and downhill here the pace was 514 into kilometer four quite a fun kilometer this one it was downhill all of the way at this corner i started to become aware that my shoelace had come undone a bit shoe was feeling quite loose but that was a quick kilometer of 433 at the end there was a elevation gain. It was quite a tricky last kilometer. It was concentrating on not losing the shoe. The end was in sight. I didn't want to stop to tie the lace and lose that time. So I was quite pleased to get to the line with the shoe intact with a final split of four minutes and 55 seconds. And we are done in 24 minutes and 11 seconds. That was a hard park run. A lot of fun, love and hate collide. Really challenging, but really good park run. Bit lonely at times, uh, felt like I was running solo. Possibly my highest ever finishing position in a park run, but it's a reasonably quiet park run, so that's possibly to be expected. A bit slower than what I'd predicted uh, with the times, but that is absolutely fine. I, I ran as hard as I could today, and that was the result. Really recommend this one. You can visit the castle, you get a discount, there's a great cafe. Just got a coffee, got a sausage and bacon cob on the way, got a, a mountainous Biscoff Rocky Road. Everything good here in terms of a cafe. There are toilets here, they are open from about 8, car parking is free till 10. So yeah, all good. So thanks for watching the video. Uh, like, subscribe, maybe watch one of these two other videos and we will see you next time. See ya.